If you're building websites that have retina content or high DPI content, as we call it, maybe like images that are both retina and non-retina, and you want to be able to test, or even if you want to go look at a site that you don't know if it has retina images, maybe you don't have a retina device. Well, what we can do is we can use Chrome and the latest version of Chrome to do that. If you open up Chrome and open up a website that you suspect might have some retina content or something you're working on locally, you can go over here and open up the dev tools. A lot of us have probably used these. These are in a lot of browsers. Once you open up the Chrome developer tools, you'll see that we've got a lot of content out here. Now what we can do is toggle right here what's called device mode. So I click on toggle device mode, it's gonna look like this. If you want, you can take this whole area down here, the developer toolbar, and move it off to the side. So I'm gonna click on this button over here. That'll give you a little bit more area to work. Now what we can do is I can come up here and click on this little eyeglass to select an element. I'll come out and select this runner down here. And you'll notice if I look over here in the CSS, I should be able to see the style somewhere. I'll scroll down and you can see it's got some, some things going on here. It's gonna say, oh, okay, here's the large at 2X. Now I can toggle if I want to under device here, all the way at the bottom of the list between a generic notebook and a notebook with a high DPI screen. So I'm gonna choose generic notebook. If I look over here on the right, I'll be able to see, okay, what's the last style applied? There it is right there. It's using this large version of the image, but it's not the retina version. It's not the 2X version. If I switch over to the high DPI screen and take a look back at my CSS, it's gonna switch media queries or JavaScript or whatever it's doing to do this. And you'll see that it's now using the 2X version. So it's showing me what's happening over here. Really great way to do this. What you can also do is if you decide you wanna try another device pixel ratio, you can do that. You can try like three if you want to and see if, hey, maybe they've, you know, they have some images set for that. You can also tell it not to fit. You can zoom in over here by using Command plus, Command minus on Mac, Control plus, Control minus on Windows and get a feel for what's happening. So this is just to give you a sense for what your retina images will look like as you're moving forward and as you're working on your sites.